The Boku people who chased Tunubu out of Asurok to China fortified themselves. A passenger exposed Tunubu's disappearance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Now, now you they talk. You see, our leaders, they no go talk through. You know, um, we were told, we were told that uh, Tunubu is having uh, and uh, is is having uh, a, a business. Uh, to transact on behalf of Nigeria in China. Yes, you understand. But not to, you know, but, but for a cover-up, for, for a cover up purpose, for us not to know that actually he actually took that very trip for safety purpose. We said it right here in our studio that Tunubu is running away for the protest. He's running away for the protest. It's not even because of the protest. You can hear it now. A passenger has revealed that Tunubu received a threat notice. A threat notice from the Boko people. Probably to attack Asuvila. To attack Asuvila for his own for his own sake. Hmm. Okay, truth to the command, my people. Maybe we'll go straight to the content. This is today's news. The former president Olusegun Obasanjo has warned that those benefiting from the fuel importation sector might attempt to sabotage the Dangote refinery. According to Obasanjo, he said that those who are actually after Bola Ahmed Tunubu are those who benefited from him. And now they are now going after their boss. In a recent interview with Noel, former President Olusegu Obasanjo shared insight from a discussion he had with Sheikh. Ahmad Gumi, the Islamic cleric known for his efforts to negotiate with the Bokus in the northern region of Nigeria. Obasanjo revealed that after Gumi's visit to the Boko people, he invited the cleric to a private meeting to, to better understanding or understand the situation. He said, during the conversation, Gumi revealed that the bandits fortified themselves so heavily that it would be difficult for security forces to enter the hideout. In Olusegun or passengers' words, when Sheikh Gumi went to meet those boys in the forest, I invited him to come and see me. The first thing he did he said to me is that look where those boys are they fortify themselves and if they are to invade Asurok Tunubu may not be able to survive it. Obasan just said that the trip to China was with a haste because these guys would have set the villa on fire. Finish. Yes, it is finished. You understand now? It is finished. So, that is to tell you that Tsunubu left the country uh, for safety. You understand now? For safety. You see that? <laughs> uh... It is good though. It is very, very good that we are getting this info. More than good. More than very good. 
so that everybody will know why Tinubu left this country. Why he left this country for his own um, personal uh, personality, for his own personal interest. You see that? Okay, dear, like, dear listeners and fellow Nigerians, I salute your your patience and, and also your courage on this uh, for this very purpose. Thank you for giving us this ample opportunity to reach out to you through this very channel. Thank you so so much. Um, you've heard it from a passenger. The same people who benefited from Tunubu are still the same people who are acting as the bocos to get him down. Uh, politics, all of them are politics. <laughs> all of them are politics. All right, let's quickly go straight. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as bell buttons to receive to receive more updates.